Hello and welcome to the inspiration pop-up of this week. Hello, Richard to South Africa. Hello, hello, hello. Happy, happy Monday. Yeah, and it's a very great start. It's a cold start in Germany because it's like minus five degrees, so it's getting winter now, and I guess you uh, are in springtime, right? Well, we're meant to be in summer, but I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, in comparison, I mean, in comparison to the weather where you are, the, where this is like a hot summer's day, but we're not quite, quite, quite in summer, but it's, it's lovely. It's great. Yeah. I always love it when we start about the weather and then diving into our today's subject, because we were thinking about asking you all who are watching why we make mistakes and why we make excuses. No, sorry. Why we make excuses. Yeah, and yeah. this is such an, as a, we do it sometimes. And, but if you are growing in personal growth, you, you think about it even more because then you don't do that many excuses anymore, right? If you grow. Yes. And I think there's so many things about why we do. And I think it's like, like I was sharing with you before we started, I spent my Saturday at a silent retreat And it was so empowering and it was so insightful and it was just incredible because being in a place where you are with 13 people you do not know, with a facilitator, you don't say a word from the moment you arrive to pretty much when you leave and what you learn about yourself. And I think it's in that moment of silence and that self-reflection, you look at certain things and you think, okay, you know, Maybe your career isn't where you want it to be. Maybe your health, maybe your relationships, who knows? And then you think, okay, so why, why are those things not where I want them to be? I've had a whole year to do whatever. And then you think, well, what are the reasons? Did I maybe not have enough information? Uh, did I not have a specific goal? Um, is it the unknown? So like what... What was it, you know, why? And what can I do differently next year so that I don't find myself in the same situation? Because I don't want to make the same mistakes again. I, new mistakes, but not the same ones again and again. It's exhausting, right? Do you agree? Yes, I agree. Uh, but do you think that, um, yeah, that excuses, when do you do excuses? When you're, when you actually, I, I think a lot of it is around fear of failure. Um, if I think about this year has been a massive creation year for me. I, I've started a lot of things. You know, I started this, um, this interview discussion channel. Um, I'm doing three podcasts a week. Um, I became a credited course writer. I wrote a course. Um, I've just done, I've started working part-time at Say Yes, which just takes up, you know, two and a half days a week. So I've done a lot this year and I think at two bi-weekly networking events. So I'm looking at all of that and I'm going, okay, so let's call it what it is. Where am I succeeding and where am I failing? And, and let me own that and not be fearful of that. And I think excuses come because we are fearing failure. I don't mind failing. I failed a million times and I'm okay with failing. But I think when we fear failure, We will make an excuse. Yeah, and that, that is also, I uh, just want to say, it's like to be in, uh, yeah, and in not in security and not knowing what the unknown is, what is coming. And then you are very attached to the things in the outside. Ne? So you, 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 you are looking for proofs of what you are doing. And if this is unsecure, so the proofs are not so clear and that's why you are looking for excuses, I, I would say. That that would be my response ne? to all of this. But I, I felt like doing personal growth or personal development and you look much more inside than feeling as a, like, I don't know, looking for proofs or everything what you do in the outside. You. As a, I don't, I'm not so angry anymore. Uh, there were like many, many situations before where I, I was just like touched or felt angry or about a person, person. But I, I don't do that anymore since I look always first into, as a, in, inside me, and then, uh, yeah, and then 
these things don't happen that much anymore yeah? because you are not so scared fear you you feel the fear or you learn to feel the fear so you don't have to point to another person and there's also a thing what i would give to you or all of you i heard once if you point to someone there are three fingers pointing to yourself so that's it. really have a look to yourself first before you find an excuse and then and if you are stabilized in yourself you don't need so many excuses it's also about being set in your ways i'm you know i do this bi-weekly networking events and i collaborate with a laughter yoga coach so we do a little bit of a little bit of laughter yoga which is actually great because it's something that i would never be able to facilitate or do but if somebody does it you can't you do you get into it and you laugh and it's a good way to start the the, the meetup because it makes everybody feel a bit relaxed And then you end with a brief meditation, which is great because it gives you that moment of reflection and of that quietness. And then in between, we do a bit of discussion on some topic of personal development. And I think looking at how it's been this year, there's definitely things that we need to change. Me and the person I've collaborated with, we've gone, okay, so what are we going to change? And I'm, I'm very open to that. But I think if you're set in your ways, then it's easy to make excuses by being set in your ways as opposed to going, okay, well, we tried that. Mm, maybe the day doesn't work. Maybe the time doesn't work. Maybe it's a topic, you know, but it, it's about not being stuck, about being open. Mm -hmm. And doing step after step. Now, that's always the problem of people who are starting a startup or a new life, new orientation or whatever, that you're so full of fear what happens if you fail that you don't move but if you move and you start to fail it's and you see it more as an experience where you can adjust uh, with some degrees or some other habits or whatever then it gets much more productive no? and you get closer to your aim or you get you see your aim much clearer than before but you have to move and that's the yeah. thing yeah? and then you don't uh, need many excuses because you, uh, perhaps you can excuse yourself because you said okay i tried this or excuse me this was not the right way but you do it to yourself and not to, do it to another person and then you are perhaps also a bit much more hmm, perhaps lovely to yourself when you do this and, and what a what a good way to end a year and then to start a new year on looking at what worked What didn't work? Where did you make the excuses? And maybe just embracing, just trying something or making a shift in something that's not really working, but being so determined to keep stuck in something which you know is not working, you know? Very, very interesting. And this is, um, yeah, very hard, also very close to my heart or everything what we just said. And it's always like, yeah, stand to yourself and then yeah life is open to you yeah thank you so much bridget for this interesting input and have a great week you too bye